Right on guys, quick lunchtime shoot. Nissan key fob remote. Two button. Rather scungy buttons. Not working. So, what do we got first? Let's have a look. Battery voltage. Three volts. Check. Buttons make clicky noise. Check. Check. Don't want soft mushy buttons that don't actually work when you push them. Radiated energy field. Fail. Appears to be no signal coming out of this. We'll use my car as a demonstration. Uh, the remote for my car. You see packets of information there. But nothing coming out of this one. So, Right. Uh, power supply connected up instead of battery. Do we have voltage on switch pins? Oh yeah, 2.8 on that one. 2.8 on that one. Push the pin. It's dropped to ground. So, switch signal should be being detected. Voltage is being registered on each switch. And there's two of them. I hardly would think that uh, both lines were not connected back to the main IC. There'd be a pin for each. Uh, switch I'm thinking. Um, let's just see if we can double check that in case it's looking for a... Uh, no, it won't be a voltage divider. Um, yeah, definitely one pin per switch. Now we need to look for a output signal from the chip and see if uh, that is triggering the main transistor. Let's probe some of these transistors and see if we get a signal on any of them. How about AC coupling that one? I have a lot of crap. I think I need to turn my voltage per division down a little. I'll be picking up noise from the power supply. Nothing on that pin. Something on that pin, but it doesn't. Uh... There we go. That looks that looks promising. A little bit of a alternating square wave there. That definitely looks like data to me. And I think that goes not there. Oh. That was a big signal. Ah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Well, how about this? The large signal into one side of a capacitor, which I'm guessing is for decoupling of the DC component and nothing on the outside of that capacitor. <laughs> the outside, rather, the other, the other side. <laughs> um, I can't see that the trace goes anywhere else from that capacitor. Maybe that capacitor's got an issue. Let's have a look. So the capacitor in question, we have, this is the transistor with our signal on it, and it comes out to this capacitor here, and it's very attenuated on the other side. I would have thought I would see something uh, across it and I'm not uh, getting a resistance reading across there uh, or an in-circuit capacitance at least anyway so let's uh, pull that one out of circuit and see if we uh, can't get a reading on it and we have a capacitance of if I can get my leads on the damn thing bit of a slow capacitance meter but I'm actually getting nothing let's find something of similar size and jam it in there and see what it comes up with Right, power on. Let's see, what have we got? Signal on the input. And signal on the output. Yay! That's probably going to be a fix. I don't have the car to test it with. But um, let's just do the old... There you go. Loop. Loop around the uh, lead. There you go. Quick and dirty pickup for RF. And we'll see if we can get anything. It doesn't actually have an obvious antenna. 
<laughs> no. Oh dear. Okay. What else has gone in this thing? <laughs> Either that or it is going to be enough, but I don't know. As I say, I haven't got the car here to test it. And there's no obvious trace on the board for the antenna. Usually there's a, there's a copper trace, but um, this just seems to be inductive through to a little metal strip on the outside of the, oh, on the inside of the case, not connected to the PCB directly. All right. So what we got going on here is something I didn't notice before. On the um, one of the leads on this, this um, is a is a six-pin device, and um, the signal's going into. Now I'm actually getting oh, I'm getting a DC voltage out of it, which I wasn't getting before. We got our signal in, and I'm getting a DC voltage out. It's not oscillating though. I'm not quite sure. I think I'll just um, take it back with me and try it on the car. It could be something that. I don't know about RF that um, it's just going to bloody work. I shall report back if it doesn't. Well, that was a failure. All right, back at the bench, and uh, I noticed the the voltage in is 1.6 volts, um, and it's a three volt button cell. And if that if that is the transmitter, and um, okay, it's marked SAW, um, which has something to do with the uh, filtering of the radio, the RF, I believe. And um, I would have thought it um, maybe that should be three volts in. So it has the ability to create maximum power for maximum transmission range. Um, <clears throat> I could be barking up the wrong tree. I can't find a data sheet on it. So on the off chance that there is a problem with the uh this the well we've got a transistor here um that switches power to the unit when you push a button so and in the off chance that there is a problem there um because i've got three volts on the uh, collector and i get 1.6 out i'm just going to bridge that and jam three volts into it and see if i suddenly get signals coming out of it um and if not well nothing lost you know, it's dead anyway, and I think at this point I'm going to just call it not worth repairing if that doesn't work. Okay, the uh, path is bridged, and we'll see if we get smoke or not. Nothing! And not even a flicker on the uh, ammeter, so that's a start, but that means there will be power constantly on this device, so let's grab this scope and see what happens. Now we'll check for our previous operation of uh, signal in and uh, signal out. Interestingly we have uh, constant uh, DC there. Now with that bridge <laughs> let's try that pin there nothing on there, let's try that pin, there's ground I've got uh, another pin there it has nothing that pin should be 3 volts, which it is and that pin there has nothing alright, so absolutely no change anywhere else I've got sorry, two more pins I'll try uh, one on each end I don't know if they're pins or just um, mounting pins. I don't know if they're electrically connected or just used for stability. Okay, no. Not a sausage. Absolutely nothing. I'd say in all likelihood that uh, this uh, little metal can here has suffered damage internally likely from being dropped. And it happens a lot with uh, key rings fully loaded. That's that little unit right there again. Dead as a dodo.